avoided the topic on sexual harassment for a while now merely because I just really needed to know where the lines are. If we're being honest, a lot of times we don't condone certain things from some men merely because we don't like them, not because we feel generally that the things they said or did are inappropriate. And me, my soul said, baby from a guy you like can be, you know, cute. From a guy you don't like, bruh, you dark one. I'm not your baby. So in this video, I want to define the lines. When does flirting become sexual harassment? In a global debate, the question of how we define sexual harassment is not very clear. And that line between flirtation and harassment is often very blurry. This confusion about the difference between flirting and harassment has made a lot of people, especially women, not to respond to harassers with strong, effective countermeasures. The Oxford Dictionary refers to sexual harassment as unwanted sexual advances or obscene remarks. Sexual harassment could be physical, verbal, and even non-verbal. Dating experts believe you've crossed the line when you go too far with what you say or do, especially when the recipient clearly doesn't want it. James Priest also advises that you should flirt in a playful rather than sexual way. Flirting becomes sexual harassment if the recipient finds it unwanted, improper, or offensive. Flirting becomes sexual harassment if the conduct creates an intimidating, hostile, or humiliating work or social environment for the recipient. Flirting also becomes sexual harassment if the recipient's acceptance or refusal of the flirting affects decisions concerning employment. So let's look at frequently asked questions on sexual harassment. Is sexual harassment only men harassing women? No. Women can also be the harassers. To be honest, I had this friend where I used to work and she used to smack this guy's butt. And he clearly didn't like it. And going through this research, I realized that she was sexually harassing this dude. <laughs> she would kill me when she sees this, but yeah, you sexually harassed him. Is it sexual harassment if I ask a co-worker out on a date? Some employers have responded to this by enacting policies against intimate relationships or dating between co-workers. Now, if your company or employer does not have such a policy, it is better for you to go through the one strike and you're out rule. Meaning that if you ask a co-worker out on a date and he or she expresses his or her displeasure or disinterest rather in going out with you, never ask again because Repeatedly asking could be seen as harassment, while one polite request probably will not. Is sexual harassment ever a criminal matter? Well, the harasser's actions may be a criminal action depending on the country or the laws. Do well to seek legal advice. If a co-worker comments on my appearance or clothing, is that sexual harassment? Now, it depends on the nature of that comment. An innocuous comment like, nice dress, may not be sexual harassment but if it is followed up with a sexual reference about your body like your boobs booty or curves then it's inappropriate i hope this video has been really helpful now if you still have questions which were not answered in this video please drop it as a comment and i'll get back to you now if this is your first time don't forget to subscribe please like and share <laughs>